this week on JTV, we've had a very special request from our viewers who sent in feedback and wanted to know exactly how to make beautiful bows. So that's what we're going to do today, is teach you how to make amazing bows for any project you have. So the key ingredient to this week's project is our ribbon. And I've got a very special ribbon box just for you. The JTV special ribbon box with very hot ribbon inside. It's simple. It's a shoe box and I've used a couple color sticks to hold the ribbons in place. That way I can roll them out and there's not a problem. Keeps everybody organized. First things first, let's talk about our ribbon and how we can cut the ends of the ribbon itself. We can cut it at an angle like this. We can cut it straight. That's a new fashionable thing. A lot of people like that. Or we can do a dovetail. For a dovetail, we fold the ribbon over and cut it at an angle, giving ourselves that wonderful dovetail appearance. Or we can cut it opposite and it gives us a nice point. It would be at the bottom of a metal or something like that. So we've got several different ways that we can cut the ends of our ribbon to make it be fun. I think it's important for us to look at a very simple bow first. So we'll look at the shoelace bow. I have a CD box here. We're just going to take our ribbon and tie it into a knot and make a shoelace type bow. This is great because wired ribbon shapes itself very easily. So this shear looks good. I can come back with my ribbon scissors and trim the ends. But because there's a wire inside that, it allows us to shape that and make a pretty shoelace bow look good. This would be great for a bottle of wine or around the neck of a vase. It's a fast, easy, casual way for us to create a bow. So since our request was how to make more elaborate bows, we'll talk about that. Using different widths can be important. We can use a number nine width. We can use a number five width. We can use skinny number three widths. All sorts of different widths look great together. And many times the pattern or the color allows our bow to have more interest. So we'll start with these pinks and we'll create something using all the different pinks that we have. I'm starting off with the first one, and this is the important part about creating a bow. The pinch that's going to happen between our thumb and index finger. So in this case, I'll take and scrunch that ribbon up and pinch it between my finger and my thumb. I'll bring the end back around and put that in between there and pinch it together again. I just keep repeating that back and forth. And you'll notice that I come over to this side and then bring my loop back in and pinch it into the center. And pinch it into the center. Now, there are different types of people who like different types of bows. Some people like a center loop in the center of their bow. Other people don't. If I was going to create a center loop, what I do is I add it at this point in time by taking my loop and making a small one over the top of my thumb and pinching underneath. This would then allow me to use a wire, or in this case, a pipe cleaner, and wrap that around the area that I pinched and cinch it tightly and twist it off. That's a fast four loop bow. Two loops on each side with a center that falls right in the middle. We've got two streamers and this would be great for attaching to a present. We could attach it to a bottle of wine again or anything that we might need the attachment of the wire for. We can also create a bow by tying ribbon around the outside instead of using a pipe cleaner. 
Let me show you that real quickly. Again, pinching my ribbons together. to form the bow. Then we'll use a length of ribbon and tie that around the center of the bow itself. This is where I always use my mouth because I don't have a prehensile tail like a monkey. But then I'm able to cinch that up nice and tight and this can be tied around anything. You'll notice that this is a similar method to what we used when we created our Christmas presents. You can check the JTV archives and look at our Christmas gift wrapping webisode. So now let's create a bow using several types of ribbon. We'll start off using this beautiful stripe. Then we'll add a wider ribbon. Again, I'm using the same technique of pinching it together between my thumb and index finger. We'll use this narrow ribbon and we're going to use it just to add streamers. So I've pinched it in there, but I've not added any loops with it. We'll also do the same with this other sheer ribbon adding it in there, but not creating any loops. Then we'll cut our streamers. And we'll take one length of ribbon and tie that around the center. Again, using the wired ribbon is very, very helpful because it allows us to shape the ribbon and create beautiful streamers. It's simple. When you work with these products, you're going to find wonderful things that you're going to be able to create. We can use a beautiful brown ribbon like this and accent it with pretty ribbons that have polka dots on them or ribbons that have plaids, whatever we want to do. The choice is up to you. You can be as creative as possible with your ribbons, creating bows for any type of an event. The more you work with the product, the faster you get at it, and the more comfortable you'll feel when you're creating these. Now remember, with a beautiful ribbon like this, we might want to add an accessory to it as well. These crystal stickers are wonderful because they're letters that we can apply in rhinestones right to the ribbon to personalize them. This looks hot. We can use those types of initials to create monograms or initials or personalize any type of ribbon. And I know you're saying, Jay, you make it look so simple. I can't tell you how many thousands of bows I've made in my lifetime. And practice is important. Here's a trick. Take a piece of satin ribbon and start to create your bow by pinching it between your thumb and index finger. You can do this in front of the TV or when you're bored sometime. But creating the bow in your hand, add the center loop if you want to, and look at it and see what you think of it. Then take it apart and start over again. Because we use the satin ribbon, 
we're going to see where we made the pinches. So we can adjust them and make them bigger or smaller. And using that same piece of ribbon over and over will help you perfect the technique. It's a simple trick I learned a long time ago from my grandmother, and it works wonders. Soon, you'll be making bows as fast as anyone else. So, create pretty bows and attach them to your fun projects. Until next week, keep having fun with flowers.